morning, good morning, everybody. We are putting her in gear and uh, we are gonna leave this up center Minnesota truck stuff. Look at this big oversized tanks up here. Yep, that's some big oversized, that's for sure. We had a uh, terrible thunderstorm come through here last night, early this morning. It woke me uh, right up, scared me for a little bit. Looked out of the window, and, and it was like the sky was lightening up left and right. You know, it was like there was no end to it. You know, like just constantly thundering and lightning. It was scary there for a second. Eh, no, that's all done with. Got some good rain. Lost a little bit of sleep because of that, but other than that, we're doing good. Now well, we're going to get back on the big road and see what kind of day we'll have today. It looked like we had like 480 miles to go, which is not bad. Could be worse. Oh, 458 miles. I guess the GPS was trying to road me that way somewhere. <laughs> well, yeah, 458 miles. So that's not that much. So we should get there early today. I think I'm gonna call the uh, customer later on a little bit. I'm gonna talk to them and see if we can. Uh, Maybe park overnight at their facility. Continue it's just a greenhouse. So maybe I can park right in their property. But maybe not. We'll have to see. If not, then I'll uh, have to go to Davenport probably to go park in there. But that's the way it goes. Still looks pretty cloudy. I don't know if we're going to get any more rain, but I haven't checked the forecast, but so far it's looking good. It certainly is. 114 miles to St. Paul, Minnesota. Anyways, let's get down the road and have ourselves a fantastic day. Alrighty guys, we just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop up here. A, a quick trip truck stop sort of like a truck stop anyways continue on this road for 25 miles it had only five parking spots available which is good enough to take a little bit of a pit stop throughout the day and I bet you at night that thing would be packed pretty quick but they had a uh, just across the street there was a uh, Dairy Cream and a Subway. Walked over there to Dairy Cream and had me a sandwich. Well, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> yeah. Went back to the truck and uh, called the customer and asked them for directions to get in there because uh, the one stretch of highway on that highway that they are on is restricted so this dispatcher had already told me that so I needed to figure out how to get into their uh, place you know no we know no we know which way we need to go in and that is one thing that uh, you four-wheelers never have to worry about you go wherever you can drive with your car right not us with our semi trucks 
there's road restrictions out there here we go guys we are coming into Cedar Rapids Iowa yes sir -y. that's for sure we've been cruising along pretty good today and having a lot of fun we got ourselves a reload already going to go over to uh, Sturgeon plant or something like that. I can't pronounce the name correctly, but I have very few names I can pronounce correctly, I guess. But <laughs> that is in Wisconsin, and I know exactly where it's at. I've been there before. That's a good load, and that one is uh, going to go to Cambridge, Ontario. Day though, we uh, haven't had any problems so far. And with the trucking industry, you never know what kind of troubles you could run into. You know, you could have truck trouble, all kinds of stuff, trailer problems, There's all kinds of things you could run into. Could be a heavy uh, storm coming through, or could be an accident on the road somewhere. You know, slow you down. And Maybe even have the highway shut down, you know. We're cruising along. Uh oh. She's texting and driving. That black Nissan right there. Anyways. The sun is peeking through every once in a while, and that's what we like. And I know uh, Paul. You wanted a shout out from my son and unfortunately we were so busy there throughout the weekend there as we uh, we got home there on Thursday and uh, Friday uh, I slept until probably till like 11 o'clock or so and I was sick there and then in the evening we had visitors and the whole weekend it was just so busy that we haven't had time to uh, record a shout out show for you guys but we will next time I'm home uh, me and the son are going to do it we was going to do that there Monday but uh, then dispatch called me and told me I had to leave right away so that didn't work out either so to the left on I-380 South US 218 South IA 27 South all right RJ you tell them where to take us yeah but anyway, so we'll be uh, heading towards Ontario again, so that's good. At least get us some uh, decent miles in again. I think that'll be pretty good miles, you know. Coming down here south and then go back north and then go to Toronto. That'll be some good miles and then we have to come back home, so... That's going to be some alright miles. To the left on I-380 South US 218 South IA 27 South. Well, no, this is where US 30 is, I suppose. This is where the GPS wanted me to go down, but. Uh, In a quarter of a mile, keep to the left on I 380 South US 218 South IA 27 South. When I called the uh, customer earlier, they told me it would be in my best interest to uh, go up to I 80 there and go through Davenport and then go up to that 88 Continue and then uh, come in that way. Miles. So yeah, we got 17 miles to go up to I-80, so... Yee-haw! So not that far. I might have to look and see if we uh, go through uh, or, or if we pass that uh, Iowa 80 truck stop. If I go by it, I might just stop in there and uh, show you guys a little bit of the Iowa 80 truck stop. If I go through that area, so that would be awesome. But anyways, we'll see. Well, I'll check it out. Now tell me guys, how would you like to drive a truck like this? With that color on there. And there's a guy driving in it. <laughs> I don't know that I would want to drive a truck like that. But hey, we're all different. Alright, you want to make that turn? We want to make this turn this way. I don't know if you've been able to see 
that sign up there to the right it is the world's largest truck stop Iowa 80 0.2 miles turn right on 215 Street yeah we are here quite early it's quarter to five in 800 feet turn right on 215 Street we're gonna go pull in here and see if we get her some parking spot. And then we're gonna do some stuff. As I told you guys that we are at Iowa I-80 truck stuff. I want to show you some of the cool stuff that they got inside of here. I know some of you probably have seen me uh, show this before, but there's a lot of new subscribers since I've been here last. So I figured I'd show you guys this uh, little uh, truck stop in here. I shouldn't say little truck stop, right? It's actually a really big truck stop. So let's take a look. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Peterbilt up here. I got it on a spinning uh, plate up here. Oh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous Peterbilt. Oh, yeah. I got dualies on the back. <clears throat> Just going to wait a little bit until it spins all the way around up to me. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at all the chrome that they got on it, you know. And I've seen uh, people climb into it, so I guess we'll see if we can take a tour inside of this beauty. Beautiful Peterbilt. Oh, yeah. We'll have a sneak peek and see if we can see how she looks on the inside, you know. Let's take a look. Look at the beauty here on the front. That is absolutely gorgeous, huh? Yep. They got that really wide front bumper on it. Look at this grill. I mean, that's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that nice horse they got up there. <clears throat> Let's go see if we can uh, climb her in here. Let's have a look. Wow, that is that is a beautiful Pete, man. Look at all these clocks they got inside of here. Wow, look at that big long nose hood. That is a lot of switches and all that good stuff. And they took the cap off of the gear shift. Now it looks like feels like they're taking it completely out. Got some kind of flooring in here, but let's go sneaker into the back. Wow, that you gotta watch your head up here. All right. Well, that's a that's a pretty small space compared to my truck, isn't it? <laughs> At least I think it is. But they do also have a uh, Canworth up there. Oh, I just hit my head on there. <laughs> so we're gonna go check it out and see what the. Uh, Kenworth looks like so. Well, this is the Kenworth I was telling you guys about. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way the Kenworth has got their design on the older ones, you know. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at these things here. That is beautiful, beautiful design. This looks like it's the glue on stuff there. It probably wouldn't last when you're outside in the, in the weather and the cold and all that. Even these tanks, like these ones here, they get pretty beat up there in the Canadian winter. But we got the studio sleeper on here. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the lights they got up here. <laughs> That's almost a little bit distracting. They got big racks up here. They got chains up here. Look at these big head racks here for, especially for uh, flatbeds, guys, and stuff like that. They got fenders up here. Exhaust, everything they got pretty much everything a trucker could ask for and look at these fenders they got different styles of them this is where they got the exhaust pipes I mean all kinds of boxes you know if you need a box for your your truck or whatever you know all kinds of step step docks uh, boxes and stuff like that they got all these things here to tie down a load all that stuff Oh yeah, 
They got lots of goodies in here, that's for sure. Well, guys, look at this beautiful car up here. Really, really old classic cars up here. They got hung up here on the pole. Yeah, looks like an old milk truck. Let's go have a look at it from the back. Yeah, scan me for more information on this 1990 19 Oldsmobile. Nice. That's really nice. And they got the milk jars on there. That's what they used to build, eh? I bet you, JP, you would really like this car, eh? I bet you, you remember these cars. Maybe 42 Northside as well. Anyways, they got a salon in here, so I think I'm gonna go have me a haircut. Well, 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 guys, we are done for today. We had ourselves a little bit of a haircut. Had herself a much needed shower. Oh yeah, and I finally got something very important done. And that is ordering some t-shirts. Yes siree, we finally got it done. We do have it behind us now. I ordered me two and ordered one for my son and one for my wife. So uh hey I might uh, I might might put up some pictures or once I have them I might uh, I probably will uh, wear them somewhere down the road and you'll get to see them and if anybody out there is interested in maybe getting some t-shirts leave me a comment down below or email me or Facebook message me or Google Plus or whatever I got LinkedIn all them good sites and uh, I can get to a t-shirt and they have different colors the website that I'm dealing with they got a whole bunch of different type of styles uh, different colors whatever you want they got hoodies I mean you name it they got workout shirts they got sweatshirts I mean you name it they got a bunch of type of shirts there so we got some t-shirts there uh, just in order now just ordered them like two minutes ago so Anyways, uh, that's about all I got. I am here at the truck stop as you guys have seen at the biggest truck stop in the world And we are ready for bed. I think so with that we're going to close it off for today and Have yourself a good day and we will see you again tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching